So now we're gonna get ready and we're gonna lay some plastic. It may take some adjusting during the first bed that you lay down, but it's really important to make sure that the tension on your plastic is correct so that you're laying a nice, tight, even bed of plastic. And then you also need to make sure that your discs are adjusted so that you're covering the edges of the plastic so that they don't blow away, but also not throwing too much soil on the edges, which can end up with weed problems later on in the season. Welcome to Shared Legacy Farms. Here we are today on June 5th. This is Farmer Kurt and Jed and Saul and Maurizio and we are putting down plastic mulch on our cucumber and melon beds. What we've done is we've placed a piece of irrigation hose around a stake and it's gone underneath the uh, green plastic mulch layer. And that plastic mulch layer is on a roll on this machine here and it's getting rolled over the raised bed and then there's a coil, a spool rather, of irrigation hose right above Maurizio's head and it's spooling underneath that plastic mulch layer. And then Maurizio sits on the machine and makes sure that the dirt goes around the plastic layers on each side to keep it nice and snug. The reason we use plastic mulch is to prevent excessive evaporation from the soil. Um, and it also really pre prevents a lot of weeds from forming. After we lay all the plastic mulch layers, we're gonna poke holes in this plastic every few feet and put down a uh, melon or squash plant or cucumber plant.
Crop Care Equipment's PR2500 exemplifies our pioneer spirit in problem solving and efficiency engineering. The PR2500 combines the capabilities of a plastic lifter with the convenience of a plastic wrapper. When using the PR2500 Plastic Mulch Lifter Wrapper, labor that requires 10 to 20 man hours per acre can be reduced as low as 2 man hours per acre. No more hand rolling needed. This advanced farming equipment recovers 2,000 feet of plastic at speeds of 3 to 5 miles per hour. The PR2500's pickup design minimizes trash and soil debris. Its center coulter splits the mulch in two, while the reels move plant debris, dirt and vines aside and form two tidy bundles of rolled mulch easily removed from its reels. A new efficient way to handle floating row covers. The Hiwer system. The big covers are taken in in just a few minutes. The take-up reel can hold material from one hectare or about two and a half acres. The highway system is able to lift and collect the floating row cover at the same time as it rolls it up. One thing's for certain, make sure that you cut all your strings on your bales before you put them in the hopper. You ready, Kevin? So the chopper and the blower part are working and now we're going to and so just the first little bit to come out, we're going to start the drum turning, and now he's going to start getting straw. I'm going to adjust the RPM up. When summer seems like a distant memory and the leaves begin to The spout of the straw chopper is controlled from the cab using a joystick and buttons. Rudy has years of practice and can paint the straw onto the fields quickly and evenly. 